So mixed features are the presence of hypomanic symptoms while you are depressed. And one of the unintended consequences of the DSM was to equate symptoms with a disorder. In other words, if you had a patient who has panic attacks, they may or may not have panic disorder. If they have psychosis, they may or may not have schizophrenia. If they have cognitive impairment, they may or may not have Alzheimer's disease. That's all pretty clear to everybody. But a, a, a mistake we made was, is that many people assume when you have hypomanic symptoms, you have bipolar disorder. You don't. You can have hypomanic symptoms and not have bipolar disorder. If you have a hypomanic episode, you have bipolar disorder. That's bipolar two. If you have a manic episode, you have bipolar, it's called bipolar one. But the symptoms of hypomania can affect MDD or bipolar. And the type of hypomanic symptoms are very similar across both diagnostic entities. We did a study with a good friend of mine, Dave Mucina, Cleveland Clinic, um, and in Toronto, we showed that about 35 to 40% of bipolar one and bipolar two patients have mixed features that meet the DSM criteria. We found about 25 to 30% of MDD patients meet the criteria. So it's a lot of people. And these are patients who come to the clinic, they have depression, and they don't say, oh, hi, I've got mixed features. Oh, hi, I've got DSM-5, mixed feature specifier, one of the 10 specifiers. They don't say that. They say, I've got anxiety. I'm angry. I'm agitated. They have those four A's. I've got attentional problems. I, I, patients come to my office, they say, Dr. McInerney, the only thing that can help me, the only thing that helps me, Dr. McInerney, is Adderall and cannabis, <laughs> right? And they say, I call it the Adderall cannabis sign. When they say to me, only hospital is Adderall and cannabis, I get very suspicious. Uh, so um, that the underlying features here might be mixed. So that anxious agitation, that angry irritability, the mind just racing, that's the mixed features. And these patients end up on benzos, sleeping aids, marijuana, we don't, we don't want them to do that. Uh, a whole variety of treatments. That's mixed features, folks, in major depressive disorder. And in those patients, Steve and I, Steve Stahl and others, have written on this extensively. These patients need an atypical FDA-approved in, in MDD. That is the best treatment for these folks. 